The Aussie dollar is on track to finish the week with another gain. At 66 cents, the currency has now completely unwound the steep march decline when global market panic over COVID-19 first set in. The Aussie dollar's resilient performance this week is all the more impressive given jitters about a fresh standoff between the US and China increased markedly. Both economies are still reeling from the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, but tensions continue to build over Hong Kong, trade, technology and the origins of the virus. The spotlight this week has been on Hong Kong, where the two countries are at loggerheads over China's push for tighter security controls. The Trump administration responded by saying it could no longer certify Hong Kong's political autonomy from China, a move that could pave the way for the US to revoke trade privileges for Hong Kong and impose sanctions on Chinese companies and officials. This raises thorny questions about Hong Kong's standing as a global financial hub. Hong Kong is of course the key financial gateway between China and the rest of the world. Chinese companies raise offshore funds there by going public, borrow money by issuing bonds and arrange loans from foreign banks. A lot of this activity is dollar denominated. The concern is that foreign banks and companies could be subject to steep penalties if they do business with any sanctioned Chinese entities in Hong Kong. This would deprive Chinese companies from funding and over time could squeeze Hong Kong's position as a financial hub. Global markets are now on notice, but the fallout so far has been limited to some regional underperformance in Asian equities and currencies. But beyond that, the MSCI Global Stock Index is up an impressive 3.7% this week. So US-China tensions haven't done much to shake conviction in the global rally. The Hong Kong situation remains fluid and for markets, much will depend on the details of any US sanctions and how China responds in coming days and weeks. For now, markets are much more focused on signs that the global economy is turning a corner. High frequency data and confidence measures increasingly suggest a bottom has been reached now that governments are opening their economies and easing lockdowns. Strikingly, the most beaten up sectors in global equities have posted the biggest gains this week and a growing number of risk sensitive emerging markets saw the biggest recoveries this week too, underscoring a broadening in global sentiment recovery and a more robust assessment of global recovery prospects. That arguably provides a more durable base for the Aussie dollar, but after an initial bounce in global growth, the legacy of high unemployment and bankruptcies will mean the global recovery is likely to be slow and sluggish. We'll find out more over the next few weeks too if there is a second wave of infections developing as well. Given the improved global risk mood and the RBA's optimism that the worst scenarios have been avoided, the RBA shouldn't complain too much about the Aussie dollar's rebound. The most alarming scenarios that were touted in March have not occurred, meaning that the threatened six-month hibernation has not occurred. RBA Governor Lowe echoed that sentiment this week when he said that the economy was tracking between their baseline and their upside forecast scenarios. The Aussie dollar is also finding some support from iron ore prices, which have risen almost 20% in May. However, the Aussie dollar trade weighted index is now at a high since January. The RBA meets next week and there could be some slight note of caution about the Aussie dollar's gains in the board's statement. There is also plenty of local dismal economic data to absorb next week, including first quarter GDP, which should highlight that the economy was already sluggish pre-COVID-19. We'll speak again next week.